It's Thursday, August the 7th, and we're I'm here at DFW Airport, and we're about to, about to head out to uh, fly to Vancouver tonight on American Airlines, headed to Bonnet Plume Outfitters in the Yukon for a sheep hunt, uh, starting Saturday, and uh, getting excited, ready to go, a little nervous. August the 9th, Saturday morning, and I'm here in uh, Whitehorse, Yukon. Um, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Gonna fly out of here at about 8 o'clock this morning on a charter flight and fly up into the Bonnet Plume Range and uh, make a 10 day doll sheep hunt with uh, Bonnet Plume Outfitters Chris and Sharon McKinnon. So, getting excited. The nerves are still going good this morning. Didn't work out quite as much as I should have this summer, and I'm feeling it now, or at least my mind's telling me I'm going to feel it. But all right, we're about a 45-minute flight north of Whitehorse, and we left, and we've just landed in Mayo, Yukon. Elevation 1653. We're here getting fuel in the caravan, and then we'll take back off and. Got another probably 45 minute flight uh, northeast of here, but you're stopping, getting fuel for a quick little break and head out. It's pretty country. Sunday morning, August the 10th, here in Happy Valley. Little cabin we have right here. Kind of an old sign there. Just kind of an old trapper's cabin back here. A little bit newer, more modern cabin right here. Two sets of bunk beds in there. Myself and both guides, Brian and Quinn. It's about 11 o'clock. We're fixing the fog's been set in this morning. Kind of waiting for it to lift. We're going to make about a 15, 18 mile journey down the valley here to an area. It's got a mineral lick, one of the highest points in the area, about 6,600 foot to the peak. Go down there for about four days, spike out. All right, boys, it's Sunday, August 10th, actually the second day of my sheep hunt here with Bonnet Plume Outfitters in the Yukon. And I guess we're in the base camp. What base camp is this? Happy Valley. Happy Valley. So 
we're here, we're fixing to start things out. We got a little weather this morning. It's about 11.30, fixing to get out, burn a few calories, warm the legs up. Yep. But why don't you guys introduce yourself? Tell us kind of what we're gonna do today and where we're headed to and what the plan is. Okay, uh, my name is Quinn Smathurst. I'm from uh, BC originally, living in Alberta now. Uh, it's my first year up here with Bonnet Bloom. So far, so good. I'm Brian Spitzig. I'm from Ontario originally, now Alberta citizen. It's my fourth year up here at Bonnet Plume Outfitters. And love sheep hunting, moose, chasing giant moose up here. And so I guess the game plan today is wait for some of this to fog to dissipate so we can at least see the mountaintops where the rams are living and we'll work our way up the northwest draw here and see if we can't spot a couple and there's a lick up there that should be uh, have some rams in it so see if we can't go put a big old ram down for Chad here so how many days do you think we'll go up there when we come back here or what's the plan uh well we got a 10 day hunt so plan on going up that way for about four to five days so we got the packs mostly packed up here and we'll go up there and just pick our way up through and look up all the draws and it's kind of what this fog to lift so we don't walk past any potential shooter rams and so then we'll just pick our way up there no rush always take your time it's, you know glass everywhere you can well hopefully we get some good weather if we get some good weather we'll have a good hunt ahead of us oh yeah, yeah absolutely for sure well guys thank you i look forward to it yeah thank yeah, you Quinn. thanks chad you betcha That was some of the finest shooting. <laughs> nice shooting, buddy. Yes. Afraid if I get up, I'll roll off his heel. <laughs> Beauty shooting, man. Beauty 5, 541 was the first shot. And I think he hit him all except for that second last one. That second last one was just a touch over his head. And... Very nice. 
Oh man. Nicely so, done, boys. What we got here? We got day five. We're out of food. We're day six. We're out of water. Day six. We're out of food. We have this much water between the three of us. <laughs> and we come all the way off that highest point right there. The highest yeah. point way up there is where is where our camp is. You probably see the tents. <laughs> Where are you yeah. back straps tonight, boys? Yeah. Excellent. Oh man, good shooting. Shit, good. I'm just glad you guys got me there. Whew, shit. No, that was a, that was a team effort. Anyway, what's going on? They're buddy. That... I couldn't tell you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I ran games to sneak yesterday, and we got him today. We got up early and found him oh. this morning, man. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you have tears in your eyes. I do. I do. We uh, we jumped up early and. Uh, just on a hunch, we kind of, I mean, we can narrow it down. There's only a few couple, a couple spots they could have went. We never caught them going over the back there. They had to be in here or the next basin over, and <coughs> we got lucky, I guess. Yeah. Well, you guys worked it, and I tell you, I couldn't ask for two better guides. Well, I think. Couldn't ask for a tougher hunter. <laughs> Jesus. I'd have won another day or two if we had to. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whew. Lots of blueberry in the mountainside. We could have ate those and good job, good we would have survived. Whew. And now we're eating back straps. He we are. A, he is. A, his one side is just. Woo. <laughs> man, oh man. Where's Scooby Doo? Ah. You have Scooby Doo on you? I can't remember that. There we go. There we go. Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at that. My right on. Girl. Woo! Very cool. Just like we thought, roomed off on this side. Look at this side. Grab a hold of that horn there so you can bring it up. There you go. Look at him cranked right out, eh? There you go. All right, it's here's the magical six day and a beautiful, beautiful ram. I couldn't ask for anything more. <laughs> this is probably more than I ever expected to ever come up here and have the opportunity to shoot here at Bonnet Plume Outfitters. But I had two great guides, Brian and Quinn. They pushed me all week and they went above and beyond and did all they could. Very tough guys, good hunters. And uh, what do you got to add, Brian? Here we are at the end. We had some. Some downs and some highs, and oh. but here we are. You hold on there, man. You just kept on going with those feet of yours. You know, if it's me taping your feet up in the morning, and <laughs> it is. You know, me and Quinn gotta do what we gotta do to get her done. This is what we gotta do. But man, he's just a stud of a ram. I think he's 12, 13, 12 maybe. 13. He's about what, 39 inches. He's way tipped out on this side, so. A little broomed off in there, but hey, that's just character. He's it old. Is. It is. That's, you remember that's 12, 13 years of winters up here. You know that's. That is pretty amazing. Now wolves, that you say that. Grizzlies. I think it's just. He's a tough one. That's yeah. for sure. Got a lot of character. Oh yes. A lot of character. But you guys did good finding him because this is the rain we were after yesterday, that yeah. we sat on for 10 hours. It took just three days. This is the third day we found him two days ago. Yeah. We found him yesterday morning. We sat him for 10 hours. How far away are we from where we seen him the first time? Oh, we're probably three miles. Mm -hmm. A couple drainages over. <laughs> yeah, we're a couple drainages over, that's for sure. <laughs> but we're only two or three miles away from from the Snake from the Snake River where Chris yeah. can fly in with the Super Cub and land on a... Actually get out a little couple days early. Hopefully you get to go back to camp with us and enjoy some fine cooking and a good shower. Heck yeah. This is what about day 16 for you in the bush? Yeah me and Quinn we did a sheep hunt before this one so we're over two weeks in the bush right now so <laughs> sorry if I stink a little bit. No that's all right we all stink. We all stink. Well I can't thank you enough. Thank you Brian. Thank you very much. Thanks Chad. Thank you Quinn. Thank you.
<laughs> Matching blisters on both feet. There's one. Oh, shit. There's the other. Woo! Jeez. Those are just nasty. Oops, I lost them. There we go. Woo! Man, they hurt. Kenna trucks will grind you up. Oh, I'll tell you. Thanks to my buddy Clay for turning me on to those Kenna tracks. I think I'll give them back to him. Nevertheless, we got it done. <laughs> Here comes the plane ready to pick us up. August 19th, we're finally at the end of our 10 day sheep hunt. And uh, sad day, but we're fixing to leave Copper Point here. The weather's been a little bad. We're supposed to left out at 9 and 11 o'clock today. And uh, we're at 2.30, so hopefully we'll get back to White Horse. But uh, sad day to leave. And I want to thank Chris and Sharon for all they've done for us. My two friends, Brian and Quinn, and uh, for all they did. And we had a good hunt. And hope we'll be back next year. Party time now, headed back to White Horse, and uh, hopefully have a good night tonight. We'll set the town on fire and head home back to Texas tomorrow. So, hook them horns, we got it done.